I don't know what I did. And this isn't even a Texas voice, can I? I can tell. Clements Homebrew, coming at ya. Happy Homebrew Wednesday, everyone. We're gonna have a short Homebrew Wednesday today. I've got several things planned for next week, including an easy hard cider experiment. So I'll be showing you that next week. Look forward to that. But today, I want to start by saying congratulations to Nathan Pico for completing his 30-day sobriety challenge. For those who have not tried it, it's not that easy to do. As many of you know, I've completed a 30-day sobriety challenge. As did Christian. He did a 90-day sobriety challenge. It is not easy to do. Hot damn, I'm telling you, it's not easy. And what you may not know is it takes big wiener schnitzel to do 30 day sobriety challenge. Nate took lots of ribbing. However you say that. He took lots of ribbing from his papa, Elder P, and his mama, his wife, I mean, you know, and SJ Poor, and uh, from Sammy, from the Thrifty Brewer. Also from the Wickenstein. Is that how you say Paul is Wickenstein? And and Kevin from Clement's Home Brews. There's crazy boys. They give him lots of bad times showing him good beers. Oh, did I mention Sam up in Canada was giving him a hard time? Oh, man. You know, you know, I want to thank everyone that, uh, that did the beard challenge, you know? I mean, look at that. What, what do you think about that? Should I keep that? You know, I, I, think, I think it goes with my outfit. Sorry, I just got in from the hay fields. I'm telling you. He's told me Nate did today, just today, he's saying. He's saying, I think midnight, I'm going to get me a ball and I'm going to have a drink right then and there. I'm, 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 I can't wait no, no longer. That's right. So yeah, I think Elder P's got something worked up for him. Right big for Saturday. A lot of drinking. So what do guys from New Zealand look like again? I can't remember. So Nate, I do want to say, be careful. Take it easy. Your alcohol tolerance is way down. You have no idea. Hope you're okay, bud. I know dad's got stuff planned for you. But again, congratulations, brother. Cheers to you. Way to go. There's my cue. <laughs> That's right. I do have beer mail. So we'll jump quickly into this. We've got beer mail today. It comes from Rich from Rich's World Beer Tour. Cue Rich. And uh, Rich is a great guy. Awesome guy. He sent some beers this way for me and for my buddy Jim. Jim is left turn 72. Um, we become good friends and we were introduced by Rich, interestingly enough. Uh, he was watching Rich's beer reviews and they did some trading and uh, that's, that's how I became aware of Jim and Jim lives maybe, you know, six miles away from me. So not too far. Anyway, Jim took a few of the beers home, which is great. I tried to send almost everything home with him, to be honest with you. I'm not sure who was supposed to end up with what. So we've just decided that a lot of these beers we're gonna to drink together. Some of the beers he took home was uh, from Bell's, the Expedition Stout. And uh, there was another one from Bell's, like another stout, I can't remember which one. I've had them. So I gladly let him take those home and so he can enjoy those. Rich also sent a four pack of abrasive, surly abrasive, this is one fantastic beer. Thanks, Rich. Uh, I may, I may share a can with Christian. <laughs> and then the other beers I have here are ones that we've decided that Jim and I will review together. Christian may or may not join us, but we're going to set them aside and review them together. The first one is from August Shell Brewing. It's Black Forest Cherry. Uh, I didn't get into exactly what the style is. It's a Berlin style wheat beer. So a Ber Berliner Weiss. And we had another Berliner Weiss with them that we reviewed once. It was just fantastic that Rich sent out to us. So thanks Rich for this. The next one is from Still Toe Brewing. It is the size 11 triple IPA. So we got to get into this one pretty quickly. Jim said jump in, but I I'm going to try to get him over here for this one. This should be one fantastic IPA, triple IPA. The next one is Long of Tooth. It's a collaboration of De Proof Browery and Surly Brewing. 
And this one is an English style old ale aged on toasted oak and cacao. So that sounds interesting. That should be a fun one. And then finally, this one is Surly 8. So it's their eighth anniversary ale. This is an oat wine and it's aged in rye whiskey barrels. So uh, I've never had an oat wine. Have, has, if, write to me, tell me if you've had an oat wine. Uh, I don't know, I'm assuming it's like a barley wine, but they add oats to it. Um, and he did a review on this. I did get to see his review on this. So uh, he suggested we set this aside for a year and we've got labels on the top. So we know what's going on with this one. All right, well, thanks again, Rich. We're gonna cut it short and say happy homebrew Wednesday, everyone, and look forward to next week. I'll have more on brewing with the mead and the cider and a little more. So cheers, happy homebrew Wednesday. All right, that's right. right, 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 right